exclusive tailor-made club fitting here at the Kingdom. Trotty, he's basically fit everybody. He's one of the world's best fitters ever. You're too kind. It's <laughs> nice to have you here, but I have worked with some of the game's best all through the years with TaylorMade. Justin Rose, Sergio Garcia, Retief Goosen, for those of you who remember him, bringing it all the way to modern times and the stars you see on the PGA Tour and Team TaylorMade. Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy, Morikawa. You name it. Everyone. Now Gabby Golf Girl. We're going to see oh, you yeah, absolutely thanks. rip it down this range. We're doing a full bag fitting. Let's get into it. Here we go. You've been grinding it out already, Hi. I believe, hitting balls. Do you need a water? Oh, thank you. Good stuff. Good stuff. How are you, mate? Chris? Hey, I'm Ron. Nice to meet you, Ron. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Had a good trip so far? Yeah, great. Yeah. Very nice. You guys been in California a few days, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've been here for a few days. And home is Florida, right? Yeah. And how many balls have you hit? I know they've had you working already this morning. No, no, I only hit like eight balls. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry about it. Good. The way this would work, I'll have you loosen up and I'll get into the driver quickly because I want to get your best swings with yeah. that club. So we'll do that. We'll get you in the driver first quickly and then I'm going to build the rest of the set off that. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. So that's if fine. we maybe intro with Q, do that, get it banged out, head down to the workshop. I'll show you. That's quite interesting to see. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. And then we'll come back and do the rest we'll do of the that. rest. Okay. And you like these is the report that I've heard as well. I, yeah. yeah, I like them. I, I haven't I haven't had them cleaned or checked in a really long time, so you're going to have to tell me. I mean, like, I like the driver setup a lot better than I like mine. Like, if on a skill feel, I like the driver shaft. Is this being gamed? Do you like this golf club? Uh, the three hybrid? Yeah. So I have not, no, not really. The way my iron setup is, it's kind of confusing. I only went up to a seven iron. Last week I threw in the six iron. Mm -hmm. And so I got rid of my seven hybrid. Now I have nine wood. I have um, four hybrid. I had a five wood, but I replaced it with the three hybrid because I wanted to use the new clubs. Yeah. And then the three wooden driver. So okay. we've got a lot of woods going on. No problem. <laughs> but that is a normal thing for college player, LPGA, good yeah. player. So we just had a conversation there about golf shafts. And I'm getting everything out like a yard sale here. Okay. And I have started pretty much this fitting. I've seen you hit golf shots before, you hit it great. Thanks. So for me to dive in here and change a player of your quality's fingerprint, footprint, straight yeah. out the gate, that would be wrong. So we just talked about driver. Shaft, you are connected to this. You I like the feel. Yeah, I like I, I've shaft. said it before with thousands of people that come in here, and it's the same as the tour truck. I don't want to take you into Pandora's box and have you hitting golf balls here for three hours yeah. and we don't gain anything out of it. What I'm looking at already is lie angles of these golf clubs and set makeup. You've already said to me, I love the driver shaft. You've already said to me, I love the hybrid or nine wood. You mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. These are all things that you connect with as a player. Yeah. So it's not on me in a fitting scenario to dive into that. Now, if I look at strike marks on these irons, you can see you practice a lot, but they're also centered, yeah. very much so. And that runs throughout the bag, which the thing that strikes out for me is a, okay, look at how flat these lie angles are. And I haven't measured anything yet, but I'm putting them down. Shafts might be a hair shorter than standard, maybe not, yeah. but flat, really flat. Okay. These are your divots, right? Yeah. So if I look at those and I look at the depth of them, now I don't know your target. No, I was just hitting out there. But you can see slightly toe deep, okay? Okay. Which means the toe of the golf club, this part here, is down into the turf, opening up, might be a little weak. The other thing that is the only thing that concerns me about this, I've seen you play, I know you're pretty strong, you hit it well. This is very light. It's light? And it's graphite. Okay. Then I've noticed that you go into the Ventus sevens in the wedges. I like what you're doing there, but if we look at your strike, it's still pretty consistent. Obviously wedges can be used out of all conditions. My questions to you would be, why are you using so light in the golf shafts? Do you even know why? I, don't know. Okay. I really don't. Because we <laughs> could go lie. firmer, um, heavier, yeah. heavier yeah. generally means heavier. Do you like the heads? Yeah, I like the heads. You, you, you're gonna, you tell me what you think is best for me. I'm not like attached to the irons in yeah. any way. The only thing I'm attached to really is that driver because I've only missed like two fairways in the past week of playing. So Brilliant. I'll so look, at the end of the day though, you're sitting here, sir, and I think this is one of the misconceptions with fitting. I think a great fitter of a great player is going to, you're gonna 
We're going to go on a little road map here in a journey, and we're going to come up with some answers. Yeah, okay. So this is nine iron? Just hit it. Okay. Just tell me what you're aiming at, and I'm let's just go hit... The, I'm going to go for the yellow flag. Okay. Get loose. Don't read anything into anything. Let's just hit yep. some golf shots, and let's get comfortable with the situation and the environment. Lovely. So that fall to the right, and let's be critical as yeah. well. Oh yeah. That Make drift sure. from left yeah. to right, because that had a slight drift on it, mm -hmm. and there's no breeze whatsoever now. Is that consistent as to what you see? Um, yeah, I like to miss right, because I don't want to miss left for me. I think that's just not a good look for me. I don't, I don't like to miss left. If I do, then it's not a good shot. So length of the golf clubs looks fantastic in the setup. Okay. I'm doing that all off sight and what I see. Now you're saying, you know, you don't like to miss left. If that's the case that you don't like to miss left, that probably indicates as to why these golf shafts are so, golf lie angles are so flat. Okay. When our lies are this flat, then it does give us the drift. I think another way to do this would be potentially to go a little heavier and then you could maybe play the same lie angle, but you'll miss left less by going a hair heavier in the golf okay. shaft. Okay, yeah, yeah. Again, that's, we'll that's, look at that in a minute. That's a good thing for me. I don't like to miss left. Love it. And what golf ball are you playing? Um, I play the X. And sometimes I'll play the picks. I really like the picks. And you've, have you tried the five or not? Yes, I have. And why no on the five? The reason I don't play the five, and I played it for a long time, but the X, I think it just gives me some more distance off the tee. Okay, and so I try distance. And get, I really try and get as much distance as possible. That's my goal. Speed, club head speed and distance is where Which I is want. why your driver has no loft on it. Yeah. Because you, because so effectively to explain that, if a driver has no loft on it, you can get more energy out the blade. Mm -hmm. But you're probably adding attack angle and dynamic loft yourself, which I like. When I looked at that driver, for want of a better phrase, it just looks a little angry. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if there's no loft on it, you've got to be a player to use that. Great. I could maybe make it a little easier to yeah. use, but you might lose a bit of yardage. Yeah, so I would want to stay away from using as, uh, losing losing yardage. as much yardage as possible. Got it. But if we can like, if we can do that at the same time as getting the yardage and height, I'll take it. Okay, so that's perfect. And there's that little drift. Yeah. And you know, this setup, you're gonna be able to adapt to stuff. Don't need you to hit anymore. Let's go okay. and look at some golf clubs. All right. The perfect. one thing that struck me from here as I look at the numbers, 7,947 on the spin rate of a nine iron. That's not a lot of spin. No. But you've got a launch angle as I go down and look at this. Let's find launch angle on here. So we'll go and measure this golf club on the loft and lie machine. Let's keep in mind that 22.3. What does that mean? So it's that is the launch at which the golf ball's coming out. I want to measure what the loft is on here because these irons generally come out strong loft. A good player, you're going to want to launch it at half the loft on the blade. I would imagine, so that's going to indicate this is going to be 44. I think this is going to be less loft than that. So the launch with where it's at is going to be slightly high for the loft on the blade. Bear with me here. That's a good thing because your spin rate is at 7,900, okay? Stick with me, let's call it 8,000. I asked you the question about the golf ball. I asked you the question about the shot shape. Yeah. If you launch it a little high, which I think you are for the loft on this golf club, you aren't gonna need loads of backspin. You as a player have figured out all the questions I've asked you. How much do you practice? How much do you play? Look at the wear marks. You're yeah. putting some serious time into this, which is brilliant. And you can see that you figured out, okay, I want to launch it at this window, spin it a little less than where I want it to get yardage. To get yardage, so right. Me so everything's a, like compromising for yardage. But yeah. it's working. You're, you're, through trial and error and good teaching, you pretty much have got what you want out of these clubs, to be fair. Yeah. And you're a great player. So all I'm looking to do in this fitting, which is where it's unique, is maybe tweak a couple of things and give you more options. Got it. I want to look at the loft and lie. Let's keep in mind that 22 degree number. I'm going to guarantee you that this is stronger than 44, but you're delivering the golf club degrees of loft on the blade. You're delivering the golf club a certain way to give you 
a launch that's a little higher, the spin a little lower and get that yardage that you're talking about. Yeah. If you just sit here, sat here and said to me, look, I want more control, which you haven't mentioned once. You've no. already said you hit this down the eye of a needle, which is brilliant. Then I would then look at that spin number and I would try and add it. But you're saying, no, 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 I hit it pretty damn yeah. straight. Yeah, I hit it pretty straight. I really want as much distance as possible. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I also don't want to sacrifice, not necessarily high on driver, but I'm really important about Hit, having height on irons mm -hmm. like I, I think that that's really important and I tend to hit it lower so so we could bend loft to give you a bit more height I've got many options here we could maybe that indicates maybe I don't want to go lighter in the golf shafts let's head down there take a look maybe grab a couple of clubs I'm going to measure the swing weight on this which is the balance point of this golf club if I can take it up in weight and you can handle the weight, I think you'll get more yards. Okay, perfect. So let's head down into yeah, there and have a look. It. So remember, 22 degrees and 7,900. Okay. Let's take these and let's go. Make sense? Sort yes, of? Yes. Any questions? No, no. Okay, I, good. I, I think I understand. She's brilliant. It works, but it's not really the way you want to kind of do it, basically. I, th I like the way you're doing it. Okay. I think the way I think you figured it out by being a great player, I like everything you're doing. I think I can maybe find a pinch more out of this. Yeah. But I think with these, I think they're going to be pretty damn close to yeah. where okay. you're at. Um, we're going to look at some options here, but I think we're going to be close. I really okay. do. And you can tell all that when you've been doing this, just off that conversation. I don't need to see a thousand golf balls. Right. It's no, good. I think that's important good. because people will just sit there trying to like perfect everything, but it's exactly. like if it's working, then. Well, you don't need to. It's, mm. it's not the way to go. After you. Thanks. <coughs> okay, just here's where we're gonna go. Okay. So let's start with this. So this is our nine iron. Yep. So we had 22, so we'd need to see 44. I think it's a little stronger than that. Let's assume that this loft and lie is on the money. So there you go. So you've got 62 lie angle, but we're down at 40 degrees. 40 degrees, okay. Yeah, which is fine, by the way, but you launched it at 22. So your launch is compensated for your spin to give you your total. Great so what you would perfect, what would be a perfect half launch angle? It. 20 degrees. Half of it, but if you got half of it, then I would want to see more spin to compensate. So because you're launching it a bit higher, you get away with the less spin, okay. which ties into the golf ball you're playing. All stuff subconsciously you figured out as a player. Yeah. All, all great, by the way. Yeah. Great. None of this is a negative. It's just information. And for people watching this that are like, okay, what am I doing? What do I need? Yeah. Good, good idea. But if you're going to launch it a bit higher, which you are, then you don't want as much spin. Okay. So great job. Well done. I think slower swing speeds, which obviously female, you're going to get slightly slower. They're going to figure that out. So these irons are working very well for you. We can look at a larger iron, but I probably wouldn't do it. Golf shaft wise and iron head wise. So I might want to go, I think you've already pretty much eliminate saying you like the graphite, right? Well, is that, I was told that was steel graphite. Is, yeah, is it? Yeah, steel it graphite, is? but I still class it as this graphite stuff. Yeah, no, I, I, I did play steel for a while and I liked it. So I don't, okay. I, I could do both. I, okay. I could try both. Okay. So you're gonna be in this kind of steel fiber family, which I like. Uh, and I would probably look to go a fraction heavier into this end. Oh, so these are the QI irons. I'm gonna just look at them, just so it, you're not gonna end up in them, to be honest with you. You go D-series, that's a that's so. standard length. That grip is... Uh... Three options based on conversations we've had, obviously, as you've alluded to it, I mean, we're surrounded by golf shafts here yeah. and it can be a nightmare mm -hmm. when you get into this. You've got to be careful. Um, fitting tool, straight on here, standard, standard. Again, I'll probably have to go a little bit flat for you, which we can do, but this is my standard loft. This is the seven iron that we're going to test. Okay. Swing weight, balance point, and everything will be taken into consideration. You mentioned steel. Fine, but I don't want to go too heavy. Yeah. So no, this is sure. in like tall light. light. This is light light. Okay. That would be where I'd go. I've got that steel fiber, which is equivalent to what you're playing. And then I've got another graphite option. My thinking is you're going to end up somewhere here. Yeah. But we're going to do it based off feel, off your feedback. Yeah. We're going to hit the launch and spin numbers that you already have, because I like them. 
Let's check the swing weight, talk about that a little okay. bit on the driver so I know where we're at. There's I well. will say though, um, yep. I always feel like with my, the reason I didn't, I don't have a five iron and the reason I wasn't using a six iron for so long. You weren't hitting high enough? I wasn't hitting high enough. Yeah. I, it's really bad. After I get seven iron, seven iron to five iron, like nine iron, eight iron pitching wedge, I'm hitting high, they're compressed, they're perfect and then I don't, I don't do well with the long iron. So I don't know if that's something we can work 100%. on. Club delivery, the way you deliver it, that makes complete sense. I mean, I got there just before you. Obviously, that's why you got a nine wood, a, a five yeah. hybrid in there. All that is golden. If you want a five iron that you want to hit higher, remember, I just measured your nine all the way down, and it's 39 and a half, really, so it's strong. So in order for you to get the numbers, you're having to play strong loft. So your right. five is actually playing more like a four. So we can easily, yeah, A, it tweak it back, which we'll do, B, get a five hybrid, or C, get a nine wood. Again, all clubs you've already got out there, already things that you're trying to totally right. test them yourself. Now right. here, this is where we're gonna, this is low lying fruit for us. C5, have you ever seen one of these machines before and what it does and what- I've what, seen it, but I don't know what it does. <laughs> so you've got a fulcrum point 14 inches from the butt of the golf club. There, okay. that's your pivot point, all right? This all translates for you into feel. It's gonna give you a letter and a number. It's been going since Moses was a small boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is how we measure feel. On tour, this is the biggest device that we use in order to give us feel. So you, you've you mentioned distance, you've mentioned speed. You just plug this head into this golf shaft. Yeah. It's not matched up for this. No. This head is made to be on a slightly longer golf shaft. Okay. If I fire this on, which is your iron, so the other one was at C5. C5. And then this is at? C5. The reason you like this is because the balance point, it's actually at C4, is so similar to your irons. Yeah. So you instantly, have, as a player, have gone like, well, I like that. Now, tour players. just replicate that, yeah. Tour players would be up here at D2, D3. LPGA players would be C6. So the difference between C5 and C6 is a two dollar a dollar bill on the end of the down there. It's nothing. So if you're gonna live at C5, I'm absolutely cool with that. What I would like to do is push the head weight of this to C6, C7, C8. Okay. Think about it this way. If you and me go and drive, or there's a car driving down the street, and heaven forbid, but it collides into something, if one car weighs more than the second car, the power of the collision out of the heavier car is more. The energy is more. So again, I wouldn't normally get into this much detail with players, but I am for yeah, yeah. the case of this. Yeah. If you have a heavier head weight, now you've got the heavier car. Yeah. Heavier car, bigger collision, more distance. Right. So let's not ruin the feels, but if just I can just take this up four or five A little grams, bit more distance, a little bit more speed. Which yeah. I'm gonna turn the hot melt gun on now, we can probably even do it in here. Okay, and we haven't perfect. even got to go down to PGA department. Easy when you got good players. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, he's right what he's saying about like, I must have just, I've never had a fitting before. So I just basically are doing this in my head. I'm like, I like this on my iron, so let's just kind of keep a similar shaft. Let's go a similar weight, Is let's just throw it on. Finish? But Charlie's really getting There's me down. Because actually. I really need to get every single you, club Cheers, perfect. Sarah. All right. Is that six iron? Yeah, this is six iron. I wanted to hit it. It's a little bit thin, but it's still got height, which is good. Okay, keep going. What's the target? Oh, that white, sorry, that white thing out there. Okay. I totally was, I, even, I forgot we were doing the yellow. Now stick with the white now, it's good. Okay. I like this a lot. So all we've done there is move you one degree. One degree. Yeah. But I like it better just because I get the height right away. It's lovely. I, I hit that thin too. I didn't even hit that like that clean.
All right, so that was warm-ups. These are all going to be on okay. the monitor now. Okay, so let's perfect. get some exact numbers on that. Good. That was better. So both those launches were exactly the same. Really? Which is great. Were they good? Uh, yeah, 15. So that's two degrees more than what we've got on the blade, which is okay, because remember 30. Yeah. I'm now at 27. So you're launching it a little high, which we like. You wanted that. Yes. Okay, change okay. it up. Hit this for me. This is your seven iron. All I right. think this is going to be good is the answer from that one shot and the couple that I saw before we had the monitor on. Okay. I want you to hit one of these. Think about where the window is, and then I'm going to throw a complete curveball at you okay. to see your result. Okay, that's a good shot, right? Yeah. That's a nice height. Yep, that was perfect height. Let's just look at that golf shot. That's 19.9. We know on that seven iron, we've got 30 degrees. Okay, and it's spun at five, six, what very was, consistent. What was the uh, um, launch angle again? 19. Okay. So and that's good. And but what is the club, what is, was that like relative, that's good? Everything is launching two degrees higher than the numbers where they're at, okay. but because it's not spinning, as much as I would love to see it, you get away with it. Yeah. Okay. And you haven't mentioned once about stopping golf shots on a green. No, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay, good. I got some serious that height right reaction away. I loved. That had more speed. A little bit of a pull, but more speed. So Gabby, look at the golf head. Does that study the head? What's going on right there? I... I don't know. You tell me. Take oh, these are P770s. These are the irons you should be playing. Really? Have a look at what I've written on the back of that club. What's that 33. sharpie say? 33, you said? 33. What's your loft on your 7 iron? Do you remember? 30. Three degrees more loft. Remember what I said. Each degree, three paces. It should go nine yards shorter. If anything, all shots with the 7 iron, your carry, normalized 136 was the first golf shot you yeah. hit 139 with the seven so 136 is with the 790 139 with the 770 that is three degrees so weaker. it even actually went further then but that, is that not supposed to happen we're or playing with launch and spin okay you gained if i look at launch your launch angle was 19 with the first shot you hit the second shot 21. that's good your it's distance lot, is going to come from your launch. Your launch is going to come from the model of the club you play. You're using clubs that are designed for players who aren't at the level you're at. Going into a 770 enables you to play weaker lofts. They're not weak, by the way. They're just, if it's if there's a standard, yeah. then they're a little bit stronger. But because of the CG location, you can now launch it higher. If you launch it higher, you can hit these shots you're hitting here. Okay. I deliberately didn't tell you what that was because exactly. I didn't want I didn't you to realize freak it. out by seeing a 770 and be like, oh, I can't play these. Yes, you can play these. How good is that? Yeah, there's so much more height with that. So much more height. But the height gives you the distance and the distance gives you the numbers that you want. Yeah. But looking and the control. at that golf club, that's what you should be playing. Now, if you put them side by side a second here, that's the difference in the size. Oh, yeah. Look at but that. you can't see it until I do that That's crazy, you. actually. I didn't even realize that. Exactly. That's huge. The 790s is You didn't even huge. realize that. No, I didn't. Remember I had no that. Idea. Remember, don't I talk really yourself didn't. out of it. You didn't even realize that. No, I did not. Someone who's putting wear marks in golf clubs like this and plits it as good as you needs to be in these irons, not the other one. Yeah, I agree. So here's the next thing, because I don't want to wear you out and you're hitting it great. Let's cover the golf shaft. That, okay. for what I can find in there, is as like for like. Is yes, what I you felt have that. To what no, you... this felt l lighter than my, my, my shafts that I usually do. I don't know if it is, but it, that's what it felt. Feel versus real. I also picked up the light head. See how this testing head says light on yeah. it? Yeah. If I'd have got the other head, it was swing weighting at about C8. This is now at your swing weight. Okay. It was crucial for you because you figured out swing weight on the driver. I didn't want to mess around with that. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now, because again, and anyone watching, I don't want too many golf shots hit here. I know that works and that yeah. feels close to what you like. You just hit some great golf shots. I would like 
to go all out the here uh, and steel. put you in the lightweight yeah. steel. Great golf shaft. I played it for a very long time. I, I, I liked it. I think the problem with that is that I had the stealth irons and they weren't obviously too, fit. Yeah, I bought and them so out here. And so it just was not cousin. for me. I didn't feel it. Like it was too strong. It was too strong. I bought the QI out here. Yeah. I've written the numbers on. Same club, 28 degrees. Yeah. So you're gonna, you've already said it's too strong. It's too strong. You're already doing it. You're saying it yourself. Yeah. So seven iron in a, this is a KBS tour light. I could see that definitely the mist with the steel shaft is going to be right, obviously. Why? But just because it's stronger. But it's so light, it's not, just adjust. Lovely. Remember you said earlier. I don't earlier, dislike it. Like I, I, I don't, I, I could see myself playing with the steel, but I don't, I don't dislike it. You said earlier, if my miss is right, I'm happy. Yeah, right, I'd right. rather. Like, I'll, that's a fine, if that's a miss, and it's 10 yards right, I'll take it. Because spin rate, has, spin rate has jumped up now. Oh, really? You've gained about four, 500 spin rate. What that means is it's gonna land a bit softer, but you're still carrying the same. Okay. I don't know if this is where we're gonna end up. I wanna see you hit a couple more. I wanna okay. try and read the situation. It's certainly playable. If you hit them like that every time, then yeah, the job no, is done. I feel I feel like that. I I like it. I feel like in my own head though, I'm hitting it shorter. I don't know if that's true. So you or... carry your normalized is 135, which is where your average on all these seven irons has been. I don't think you're in love with it, but I quite like it. I don't dislike it at all. It's definitely an option. I just feel like I'm not swinging it as hard as I can. It's a good golf swing. 137 spin is up. I like. Launch at 17, I is like. Is that more, if, okay, so if there's higher spin rate, it's gonna stop Peak more? Peak higher, land softer. Okay. Good for, useful for you. Yeah, I want as much height and Good spin players as possible. spin it quite a bit. Yeah. Like, and you're. I think I have enough compression for spin, I just don't have that. Well, the compression on that last shot, the launch was 17. So by getting you in the steel, we've brought your launch down. Now, normally, if your spin doesn't move, that's tragic. But by putting your launch down, we've the got spin your spin up. up, which is why it's equation to carry 137. Okay. So it's getting you what we're seeing today. I yeah. get it, you're saying to me on my own home range in Florida, I'm 140, 150. Yeah. Well, today you're averaging out like 130. Way lower, but that, I mean, that's fine. If they're we've all, gotta go you with know. what we got today. Yeah, yeah, no. And then there's... we just keep in touch, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so same target. This is now graphite, 65 yep. in the KBS. So going back to that, like right after the steel, I like the steel a lot better. I can even in my hand just holding it. But remember, you also like this steel fiber. You said yeah, this felt like Yeah, I like gamer. that too. I like, I, I definitely feel like the two options are gonna be the steel and the... This gets us back to, I said earlier, like you're the CEO of your own game. This is right. where we're kind of going with this now. I see it Lovely. too light now, yeah. I don't know. Too light, I think. Okay. I, I don't know. Let's I drop it then. The I'm thing is, is that my, my irons are like the same uh, weight as as the, that, right? Dead weight, yeah, and swing weight. It's hard because I've got the swing weight, which is the feel. I've got it perfect for you with yeah. everything. Um, so this really, like, for me, all of these are passing in terms of numbers. Um, yeah. I know what I like, but it's not me hitting it. Right. It's you hitting it. I so, like the, the steel and this right yeah. here. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought you were gravitating a bit towards this. I don't, yeah, I have to, I think I have to hit the steel back to back with this of again. Of course, let's do it. But and I might get you the one of these that's a little bit lighter, because this is the 70. I might yeah. get you the one that's 10 grams lighter. Good golf swing. I have a feeling I'm now going towards the steel. <laughs> I do too at the moment. But before we make that decision, you're gonna hit one more with these. I'm gonna put you in the steel. I'm gonna walk down there, get the lighter one of these. Okay. And then you can hit that. Yeah. I think this is just a bit too heavy. Cause the pull like that, the spin dropped a lot. Yeah, 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 I felt that. Lovely there. Let me throw this in. You grab a water, take a little break here. Don't hit too many cause we still gotta do driver. 
like this head. But with your actual, these chaps. Do you think that that would be bad or? Okay, so I love that play, if you want to do it. Truth is, I've got one more for you to try. It's not, I wanted that steel fiber, 10 grand lighter. They don't offer it here. Okay. Uh, obviously they offer this because you've got it built. So yeah. we can figure that out. I have this for you to try before you make that decision. Okay. If you give me honest feedback, that's not the way to go. I'm all, I'm all about people staying in the same golf shafts. Yeah. And we change the heads, we get 70 Yeah, I, I like the ha heads better than my heads. I'm really all about do. that, I like it. These are great product. I'm not gonna argue with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's great. But I just want you to hit this before we make a call no, I, on this. This feels good. Exactly. This feels good. I don't dislike this. And I'll tell you what it is after. Nice there. Good Lovely. ball flight. The only thing I think is if I miss hit one, I'm going to be like. You don't miss hit any. I, if I, I just don't want to be like if I miss hit one, it's totally off. Good. Okay. Those are good shots. It, I did miss hit that shots. last one and it turned out fine, so. And all I keep looking at here, are you in your window? Yes, you're in your window. Launch down, spin up, good consistent carry. Ultimately, I like that option. I would probably suggest this one. So this, what is, is, this? this is 10 grams lighter. Okay. And it's listed as an R flex in the tour light, but the weight has come down. By bringing the weight down, I think you prefer the feel of that, but this yeah. is about as light as I could go in steel and it is a great option to go along that. And for me, that's irons done. You go that lie angle, you go 770 in the standard loft, which I hate to say, but standard loft, which I'll list out for you. You get the five iron all the way to the pitching wedge. We'll look at the wedges, but we're gonna do driver first. Yeah. I'll build your fairway woods around that. Yeah. Again, we'll have a look. I think you're probably close to what you have, but we can add to it. Um, and then for tournament golf, you just travel with a squad of players. You, you yeah. don't go with... I want to just hit one more. With hit the, as with many this. as you need. And let's get driver dialed what before... What is that, six iron? This is six iron. And that is your gamer six iron, right? Yeah, they're not the same head, obviously. We're not looking at the head, but... Are you comfortable with where I've gone with the heads? Yeah, I like I, the I head. like you going there, too. Yeah. I mean, how do you argue with a... Go the golf shaft is like feel. Yeah. I don't want to convince you to go this way. I want you to try and be open-minded. But on the same note, it's almost like a layup for me to say to you, play the same shafts. Yeah. I, I, I don't I, need to push you into anything else because there's nothing wrong with them. I do think you need to be in 770s. I agree with that. And I do think I'm going to increase the swing weight on your driver. Yeah. And then that... I, I, think, that, I think we're going to stay with these shafts. I, I just see... I see better, like better shots when I hit a good one with that, but I, I just don't want to, I have a fear of just like. Changing because yeah. it's familiarity. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a very familiar, but you need to know. The options. Yeah. For and sure. And if you want to change, that's where I would go. I like, yeah. You uh, we're going to go the with this difference in the sound. We're going to go with this But they're not coming head, off as crisp in those heads. So yeah. you're going to get a much nicer feel at the 770 head. Yeah. That's, that's what we're going to do. To keep the same Got shafts. It. I love it. And go with the 770s on the head. I love it. Let's look at this driver. So we know you've got a C5. We know it's down at 875. Let's go same target line. Irons, I like where you're at. Different head. Same shafts. I like that. All right. Okay, so that was a little spinny. 14, a little pulley, so maybe the launch yeah. is down a bit, but it's still at 14, 2,600, pretty good. What did you feel on that? Little, I, I had a little bit of a spin on that. I just kind of didn't swing fast enough. So on you'd that normally side. launch it a hair higher than that? Yeah. Okay. That Amazing. was a better swing. That's unreal, it's great. Bit spinny though. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I always kind of hit it like that, though. 3,100. You always hit it like that because swing-wise, today at least, now that was good. The one before was different. Okay, one more. So I need to get your spin. Ah, pulled that. 
Okay, but let's uh, pass me the head. It works out, yeah. I'm gonna go and put some hot melt in here and see if we can just take it up a bit via that. Okay, let's go back to the workshop. Let me see before we go, see one change. I think you could probably play LS if you wanted to. I haven't tried it. I did really like the Max though. Like I wouldn't have a problem. I actually want to hit one, one with it. I wouldn't have a problem hitting this head. I loved the head. The only thing was is that the shaft, hit if you look first. at the shaft, you're hit like, first, yeah. <laughs> you're like, what is that for me? It can't possibly be. It's too, too long and too stiff. That was higher. Spinny though, but it's good. Yeah. <coughs> Height is your friend. Yeah. It wasn't that spinny, 2700. So if we have a look at all shots with driver, that was up there with your others on the carry. So that was good. So, and I haven't really tweaked anything yet. What did we change with this? I added some loft. Okay. But you hit it higher in the blade. I think swing weight is going to do so much for you, just going a bit heavier. Go again. I want you to start hitting it there, basically, the top third of the club. Okay. So those ones uh, are I that squeezy, really low launch. So the, the shot before was 14, that shot's nine. There you go. Good. Real good. This is the setting if we play it at this weight. That's gone 2,800 spin. 13 and that went up to the carry distance you've been getting before. The reason I think you like the max is because it just launches a bit higher for you yeah. would be my take. For sure, no, when I saw it, I, it, it was going way higher. Okay, I'm going same setting. Remember, I don't know the actual loft on this. Golf shaft's shorter, so to you it's gonna look, golf shaft's same, but the head's bigger, so it might look a bit shorter. Don't hate that. It's just if we no, can get no. the same speed out of it. I've gone one click higher as well here. Okay. Oh, go, wow, go. that felt so different. Yeah, exactly. Go that again. felt like totally different. Good launch, though, on a pull shot. That was hit well. Higher, isn't it? Way higher. Okay, good. So you're not losing any speed, but the spin is still a hair up. Chuck us the head. Let's move this one back to standard. So you don't need to play the same loft on this head as you do on the other one. You need to play a little bit less loft, otherwise okay. it just spins. Yeah. That's head design, basically. Perfect. Now, I've been hitting the QI-10, the regular one, really well, like, on the course. Mm -hmm. I haven't missed, like, any fairways. Probably as good as this one's going to do. Yeah, that was a good shot. Good ball speed, good height, good spin. So both these drivers are the same now. Yeah. What I want to do, like I've mentioned, add some weight to the back of this. Check the swing weight of that. Let's go back to the workshop, okay. see what we got. So you're getting the same speed out of this, even with six grams light in the head. This is lighter? Mm. Like, way lighter? Yeah. So I'm going to take this weight up. Sorry, a little bit, and I'm going to take this one up a lot. Okay. And then we're going to see. Okay. I think you're hit. It's not going to feel different though. It's not going to feel like super top heavy, is it? It's going to feel heavier. Heavier, but not like not distributed at all, right? We're going to go Because the thing is, is, my shaft is so light that I don't know if it's... You don't want it to be over. Yeah, I don't want it to feel like I'm swinging yeah. a sledgehammer. Not because it's actually heavy, but because the shaft, shaft is so light, you know? So maybe we won't touch this one. Maybe I'll only touch this one. Okay. And I'll make them exactly the same. We'll hit again. Because obviously once I go beyond, once I go past it, I can't take it out. Um, that's what my concern is. So look at this. Just to give you an idea. It's oh, one wow. Switch. That's, that's, wow. That's it. It's one swing weight. It's crazy. It's one swing weight. And that weighs nothing. <laughs> one swing weight. <laughs> so we're not nothing. gonna kill you here, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take this one up to be a fraction heavy. I'll take it up one swing weight. Okay. This max 
heavier than this. Okay. Knowing that you hit this quite good. Yeah. I do think you need to move this one click higher. Okay. Because there's not enough that's, loft on it. That's, that's fine. So yeah. let's do that. I'll show you the process so you can see it. Okay. The things you're saying are all positive. So mm. I'm going to take baby steps. I might yeah. come back into this room in a minute. Yeah, but that one, we're talking about that one, really. I'm going to start working on this one. Yeah. Because I think there's more in the tank in this one. So that's at 192 grams. So if I bang that puppy on there, this is at 188. So I'm going to take this up. I'm going to go to 194. Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't mind about that one since I'm not hitting it anyways. It's like, you might as well. Yeah, and I'll put it all in the back so the launch goes up. You'll be able to play it with less loft, which means you get more speed. Yeah. Cool. And that, you find a blowtorch. You pass us a blowtorch, please. Thank you. Yo. I don't know if I want to touch that. You don't want to. Do <laughs> Nothing. I don't know what I'm doing. So, this is a hot melt. We use it a lot on the tour. You tell here, look, half a squeeze on the gun, on the trigger. Let's see how much gives us six grams. It's going to be... It's a full squeeze. Not even moved for some reason. So into the back of the driver like that. You said you didn't like a Miss Wright, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So Miss Wright's fine. Miss Wright is fine or you want to draw it more? No, Miss, Miss Wright's fine. Okay, I'll put it in the middle because that was crucial information I should have checked with you before I started pulling the trigger. Miss Ray is fine. Um, yeah, no, as long as it's not duck hooks, we don't want duck hooks. Oh yeah, I feel it. Okay, still moving. See I'm that? super hot then. So it's hot, but it's also moving. So by me keeping the head tilted this way, I make sure that that weight goes back here. Yeah. I asked you about left and right misses because if I tilt it that way, I can get it more in the heel. If I tilt it that way, I can get yeah, it more in the top. We want yeah. it in the center. Yeah. You basically want to know as a player that your miss is you and not the club. Yeah, exactly. So there's a bit more. 191, 192. Now I'm gonna, that's, as that sets, it's gonna get a bit heavier, so I'm not gonna put any more in. I'm gonna pop this in the back. I'm excited to see the max because I really truly do want to play the max. I like the the regular because I've just been more kind of like used to it, just hitting more drives with it. But I, I feel like I could totally hit the max. Like I want to because I think it's just going to get it higher for me. I sense without that. Without trying, you I know? sense that. Without using distance. I want the max. I want the, the one you've turned up with. I'm adding one more click of loft because remember it came out eight point seven. You came too low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this one, I'm putting it standard. Yeah. Because I think I can get a bit more speed out of it. Okay. So we gotta, yeah, we gotta make the the regular one higher because it's way too low. It's coming out low on the on the range too. Yeah. Not sure. usually that low even. How good's that? Yeah, I like that a lot. So 13.6 on the launch, spin rate 2400. First shot back and your carry distance is in your window, which means it's only gonna go up. The only thing I would do with this head, because you like it for now, I'll probably see you down the track somewhere. I think you play it one click higher than where you've had it, and we add more weight in the back, but next time I see you, let's get this one yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Great job, Perfect. great golf Perfect. game. We'll Perfect. look at the rest of the clubs now, but it's all fantastic. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with it too, I like this. Good. And then if I need to like go into the other one, then I just switch it off. It's... But that's what we do. We yeah. don't touch this one because we know it's good. You play it one yeah. click higher. We know they're now married up and the same. And all you do from here... Is just switch them when I need to. And if you need to do more, literally as long as I get this back, I know I've just got to take that off and put a bit more weight in it. Right. Which is if I was pushing, 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 I might do that. Right. But I'm also conscious that you like what you have. Right. And like I've got it. a big iron change coming, so it's like I don't yeah. want to do too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at this area that you're unsure of. What were your words about this now? What were you, because you got a lot of stuff here. Um, so I had a 60 degree, um, like three, four weeks, maybe even longer, two months ago now. Why did it go? Um, we just ordered the 
uh, wrong one and <laughs> because then I didn't go back to the 60. I'm confused right now. I'm like, my, my brain is confused when it comes to wedges right now, but I'm hitting, I'm hitting them great. So I don't know if there's anything we need to change. You've but... got to remember <coughs> the pitching wedge is 44. So we're going to go with this new pitching wedge in the 770 that we've done today. It'll be a bit weaker. Okay. So you could move 52, 56, 60. I would 100% recommend gapping this out a bit. Yeah. That one, if you can use 60, use 60. So that's step number one. Okay. Then I would say four degrees works. I like my 54. That's the only so thing. So why don't we bend the 54 to 55. Okay. And keep the 50 at 50. Then you've got a five degree I like difference. that. I like that. I see absolutely no reason to change the bounce on these. And I'm basing that, can I just have that one? Yeah. Off of how these look on how they're worn out. It looks like you're using the front of the camber pretty well. The bounce, I know you play a bit in Florida. You kind of want it in the middle ground. Yeah. You don't want to go with nothing. That'll be more linksy turf. Yeah, no, that's not for us. <laughs> and if you go with loads, I it's don't think you need hard. to. Like, I think we're in the wheelhouse. This is the mill grind for, again, I'd go 60, 54, bent to 55. Leave I like that. Attack. I like that. What I would look at, I would love to just try a couple of different shafts, but it's going to have to be feel. Whether you pitch them from here or whether you do what these guys are doing, which is we just get down there and hit some different short game shots, we can do that too. Yeah, I think we got to change the shafts. I've, I don't feel comfortable with shafts, them. Yeah, bend perfect. the lie angles to where you're at. We're going to stay on the same lies and we'll put the lofts where we're at and we'll get this rocking. Yep. This is the difference between going to your regular fitter and I've actually never had a fitting before, so this is my first time. I'm super excited. But Trotty literally came over here. I just had hit like maybe six or seven, maybe eight shots and he could tell how I was hitting them, the attack angle and basically what clubs to fit me in right away by just looking at the divots. I mean, right there he grabbed the wedge he saw based off the club, just looking at where my wear marks are, what he wants to do. I'm just going to let him do his thing right now. Like, it's all up to him. He knows what he's talking about. So here's the situation on this. Uh, down there, they only have these wedge 115s. Probably going to be too heavy. But the call out I've got, lie angles for you, 62 on a pitching wedge. Your wedges are a little bit upright. Do you hit these? Steep. I hit them really steep, so I don't know if that's a problem. Like really steep. Hit them left a bit though, compared to the rest of the set. So maybe a little bit. I I'd like you to maybe. try these. That 54 was on 55 already. Oh. I, I just think everything you said earlier. Like and hit some pitch shots out there to the blue flag. Let's not worry so much about the launch monitor. This right? one? Yeah. You said, um, look, I like things to drop to the right. I like it to feather a little bit. These to me are a little bit upright in comparison to the rest of the set. Okay. And if you want to start with yours for a bit of feel, yeah. you can, because obviously this is really heavy for you. Yeah. It's not what we're going to go with shaft-wise. Okay. Uh, they are Fuji. We'll be able to get them from Fuji. You'll be able to get them, yeah. This is how this is how far I used to hit my like two weeks ago. And I would just so go when like you're that. Wrists back, you're talking about forward to left hip and back to right hip, right? Yeah. Okay. So a couple of things. So think about this. Obviously the club moves in a semicircle around us. It would make sense as to why when I looked at your wedges, you're only using the leading edge. I can agree with what you're saying. So yeah, taking out some of the shaft lean is gonna help for sure. And you've corrected that. The thing I would say is I just don't think the divots are as clean. Hip, just hit me a full one with that. I know it's heavy, but toe and heel depth on those divots is not as good as the rest of the set. I think your wedges are too upright by one degree. And what does that mean? Like it means that the toe of this golf club is closer to your nose one degree more than what it needs to be. Okay. So if you're hitting me a little soft one, and you did it on the second shot you hit, it wasn't clean. No. It, it, so just hit the same, I know the shaft is heavy, I know the swing weight's heavy, go the blue flag, and just hit me a pitch, and grip it down a bit. There you go, now hit me a pitch. So that is a clean sound. We don't need to see the ball. Have first. more spin to too. The result. Great shot, not really bothered about that right now. It's the sound and the interaction. Nice, good, better, lovely. 
They hear the sound. Yeah. That's more of the sound that we want of a good pitch. Yeah. Good. I like steel. I almost half like these KBS lights. I'm sure we can get that. Just to give you a bit Yeah, more I don't steel. mind the steel on the... On... I want, remember I talked all the way through this about swing weights. I think it's imperative for you that you've got like a D0 swing weight, which as you know is 10 grams heavier than, than everything else. else. Because yeah. then all you can do, think about gravity, you just let the swing weight of the head do what it wants yeah. to do. The club shaft, the, cl the head and the grip, they're always going to want to align, right? They always want to swing like a pendulum. So the more you get rid of this inside, it's always going to try and go this way. Mm -hmm. So if you can stand closer to it, now you can just yeah. let it drop on it. Guy, I like the three wood. Now these are all makeshift, so I don't like. That's not. It's very confusing the wood. So that that shaft is they're like eight years old, and it's super light. I like hitting it, but it's super light. Also, I played a three wood at sixteen degrees, and I feel like I feel that difference. It's just hidden lower. So, so that, you'd rather have a sixteen degree. Well, I think so. That, right? yeah. Okay. So this you think is coming out low? Yeah. Let's start with the hybrids first. Okay. Good, so, bad, indifferent. I never played a three wood hybrid before. I, I assume that changes for a five wood, right? Yeah. What do you play? Just so I like. Yeah, five wood, nine wood, three wood, driver. And then I played a six hybrid, but I'm getting rid of that. So, So hybrid, all the hybrids are going. Yeah, oh, sorry, four hybrid too. <laughs> that one too. I play, I play a four hybrid. I just this don't. And this don't. They go the same yardage, don't they? Mm -mm. Pretty much. This goes higher, flies higher. This goes 170. This goes 185, 190. Like, there's that much difference. I don't know how, but... So then you go 6 iron normally, and then this. 160, yeah. 160, 165 sometimes. But you're not sure about this? I like the shaft. No, I'm okay with that one. I'm not a, really okay with this one. But that one sounds like it might be derelict anyway. Yeah, no. No point. There's no, I don't really like that guy. But it also sounds like it's not needed. No. It's not. It's it's like my five wood. It's but it's not my five wood. So you like, sound like you'd be happier with your five wood. Yeah. So no. Right I'm, now the setup is that hybrid, that then the then this. Yeah, I'm happy with yeah yeah. This you think you need more loft on. If you're happy with these, to me, it's spelling it out for us. Like we stay in this stuff again. You, you're sensing where I'm at. I don't like too much change. We keep in these golf shafts why you don't have qi 10s that just match these and then we build the three wood off that yeah and that's the obvious play yeah that's what i'm saying these shafts as well as putting yeah. this shaft in the through uh three we'll wood right and changing that to a 16 degree and then these are all good because this one's fine good. yeah and we could even get this in a i mean is this just different graphics for the DI because we can even know do this. What, yeah, I don't know what the difference is, but. But, but this would be a bit soft. The DI is quite stiff, but if you like it, you like it. But I mean, for me, I've seen so much good stuff here. Again, like, why would I? Yeah, no, I agree. I was. This is a top quality golf shaft. Yeah, I love that thing. It's I love quality. the. Sh I love the shafts. I want to see that go and get a number on it. Okay. And I want to see a five wood just while you're here, so we can check. This is your four hybrid. Yep. Then wedge shafts, we're going to have to order something. I'd like steel, but we've got to talk about that, and you'll have to just try them and keep in touch. Yeah. Oh, I can't sit that spinny. But that's the usual shot. Right? Yeah, yeah, so no, it's, it's fine. Cut. It's fine. Lovely. Still hitting these cuts, which I, I that's what I miss, but I'm hitting a lot of cuts today. What's wrong with that? That was better. Still hit a little bit behind the ball. Lovely. We got enough of them, that's good. Much good, much better. That was good. So my point here... With what was the, the carry on that? Well, the, the shot before was 165 and that one was 160. My yeah. worry with this golf club is that... And by the way, well done on the path. You've just moved it immediately in one shot. That's how well connected with your swing you are. 
But my worry with this, I, I think you got two clubs that go very similar yardages. Yeah, they do. They do. The only thing is that in tournament, like that goes higher. This goes higher and it just it? goes shorter. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Like, I need something to to mix the like one. This is like I need a five ironish yardage. Well, we're gonna build you the five iron. So if we look in all shots here, our six iron. So our six iron. Let's say it's. And then this on here, this hybrid is 10 yards further. Gapping, I'm more important, more worried about than numbers. So your six iron is ten, your hybrid is 10 yards further. So let's assume your five iron also went the 10 yards further. That would then mean that you could drop down into this one, which you're saying you don't like. Yeah, so that's the three hybrid. It this would replace a five wood or something like that, right? You would play it as a four iron, in my mind. Let's so. see how far it goes. If we can get 175 on this system out of this. I feel like I don't hit it as well just because it's really low. Like it's just. So you can't get the height on it. Yeah. Well, that's good height. I was hit great. Gripping it down a little bit, I noticed. Yeah, it's a little, I feel like it's a little long. I feel like it's just a little long and stiff. Okay. Compared to like the four hybrid shaft. Yeah. Well, I'll I just don't one. see any consistency with hybrids. I, I rather hit like a, five you know, wood. yeah. <laughs> I just rather that. Should I hit the five wood to see how far that actually goes? Should we make a seven wood? It's just not, I'm not into hybrids. I feel like it's just. The head is small, the just, shaft feels long. Cause look yeah. at this. Basically the head small, shaft feels long. If you look at this now, that's longer. Yeah. You feel comfortable with it. And this the is a nine to, wood? Or this five is a wood? five wood. Five the wood? The way to go is to go five iron, seven wood, five wood, three, three wood. wood. I like that. I like that Get a lot. Get rid of the hybrids all together cause the heads are too small. Uh, and then yeah. it feels weird to you. That is night and day better. You'll, we know you need height. Yeah, I need height and wood. yeah. No, we I do don't it like in hybrids. That golf shaft and we do the seven wood in that golf shaft and we get you in the core models. If you're comfortable with the head, it'll be this head. Yeah. And then I even think we go for a 16 degree rather than yeah. the 15 degree. Then you got your three wood, then you go into your driver. Even though I pulled that one, there's less room for error. You are more confident than yeah. We need to do what I said. We need to go 16 degree, then five wood, seven wood, all in core model. Can you bend the lie angles for Gabby? Uh, lie on wood. Where are the woods coming from? Tour department? I'll get them from three, yeah. So we'll bend the lie angles on these woods, get them nice and flat so the way you need them. Get a 16 in there, no hybrids. Golf shaft yeah. on wedges, we've got to agree on. KBS in this tour light regular. And then we're doing the five iron. Yeah. We're doing the five in the 770 that we'll have. More yeah. Now. Yeah. And then okay. you, you got to just keep in touch and yeah. let me know. Yeah. That's perfect. That's uh, what we do. That looks good. And that's pretty much a full bag. If I had options here in these weights, I'd grab you them to hit, but I just don't think we have them, unfortunately. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to have a look so you can try and hit. A, I'm going to see if I can find a 16 degree three wood for you to see it. I'll get it in something as close to this, but if we don't have it, we don't have it. Okay. Get the height. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's good cool. for me. All right. Shaft, height's good. Just measure the lengths good. of all these. Yeah. And then you can take your yard sale with you. And you <laughs> My yard. Okay? No, 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 just, no, the, uh, the, just the angle. Just 16 degrees. You've been golfing your whole life? That yeah, we got to do a pot to fit with, with one of the boys. Yeah, I know. Putter. Yeah, that guy's got a. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even supposed to be a mallet or a blade. I don't even know. I'll figure all that out now for you. <laughs> I'll get your address. Make sure. Make sure you get some I won't. I won't ship it to West Palm. I'll no. ship it to Naples. Naples. That's okay. These are all yours back. Nothing new, unfortunately. No. <laughs> but we're good. I got all the specs I need. 
Um, and you're going to do a plotter fitting now with someone, yes. I believe. Yep. You Did you speak about um, wedge shafts? We're going to the KBS lights. We're going to go to the steel, yeah. Yeah, and then. And we're going to do two sets of irons. One steel iron, one regular iron. Whatever he wants to do. Because I think that's going to be good. Oh. No hybrids. No hybrids, thank God. I'm sure. super excited because I really want to get this styling. Oh, yeah. I'll fix you up. I'm Perry. Nice to meet you. I saw you when you came in. Yeah, nice to meet you. So, yeah, come on in. Let's. let's uh, Let's have a look at what we got. So, um, how did you land on that? I just said, let's get a blade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, I really didn't. Well, I mean, it, there wasn't too much thought process. As blades go, that's a nice one. That's kind of our old classic traditional, uh, you know, TP Reserve B B11, we call it. Um, B stands for blade, and then it's the number one nozzle in one position. So that's how that blade is mentioned. But yeah, um, yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's classic, it's old school, it's, it's a popular shape. So, um, we, we'll, you want to hit a few just to get a feel for yeah. the carpet? Uh, so it's Gabby. Start there. And give you some good information. Let's see where we need to go. Okay. 46. So there's that one. So what's this? So in here we use 3D motion capture. You'll see the camera oh, okay. on the top of the room. Got it. Yeah, and they track the reflective markers of the putter. The putter's been calibrated to the room. Oh. So we know where zero is. Um, and so we'll see how you aim the putter, how you square it to the hole, how you stroke the ball. So let's just plug this in, 146. There you are. Good stroke. There we go. So let's take a look. So the system was originally designed for the full swing. So not all of these data points are, okay. are that relevant, like your clubhead speed is over here, or mm -hmm. you know, really the clubhead speed with putting. Uh, even your path, which is which is nice, is not nearly as influential here as the face angle. So we start analyzing face angle and address, how you aim it, and face angle and impact. Right, that's the most consequential number on the page because that's where the ball is going to start. Right, your start direction. So face angle and address, 0.8 open that represents the right edge of the hole, closest left edge of the hole. We we'd love to get you inside the hole from this distance if, if possible. That is pretty square yeah. for us. And then we see impact here, the face <clears throat> is a bit more open, right? Three degrees open. So when we see this pattern where the face is open relative to a dress, yeah, we, 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 we would steer you more into a, um, a face balance type of putter. You know, the traditional blade, it's a, it's a great shape. It does have a bit of toe down, which does make it hard to square the face. It wants to resist closure. So we would consider more of a face balance putter, maybe one of our spider products if you're open to it. And see if uh, we can improve your aim and also uh, your face angle and impact. These numbers, though, would suggest that left to right putts would be a bit more challenging um, because the face That's is. Right. Yeah. 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 It would be easy to miss low on the break because it's returning open relative to the aim. So you may be aiming it correctly on the break, but if the putter is open on impact, the ball will start low and likely just yeah. low on the break and left to right. Putt. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's try a face balance okay. uh, one of our spiders. I think my face is always open. Two in a row, so. Must be doing something, right? <laughs> one second. Is that three in a row? Maybe not my new putter. It's the first try. <laughs> So this is how these numbers can change. Uh, it's, you know, it's no uh, accident that you've made every putt based this as well. Yeah, I only missed two out of 10. <laughs> yeah, so now we look at where you were at address. 
where you just named that one, point 0.3. Remember I said point 0.8 represented the edge of the hole. Now you're well within the edge of the hole, almost dead center. Yeah. And then look at uh, your face angle and impact. Wow. Point 0.8, so that right edge of the hole, right? So you were well, well outside the, the hole here with your old blade, and now with the face balance mallet, much more square and impact, yeah. much better alignment, right? Yeah, that looks so, good. So no, no accident there that you're, uh, you're making all those putts. Pretty cool. <laughs> That's, That's really great. Matters, right? Oh, it yeah. matters like yeah. so much. But I wanted to give you something dramatically different than your blade. Yeah. Because you you're you were pretty far off the zero on your from the lineup perspective with the blade, and I wanted to see if this change gets closer. Change. Right. Yeah. So that was pretty cool to see. You know. <clears throat> So yeah, definitely a face bounce. An interesting um, call out to your technique. Um, if, if we look at the shaft lean, you have an interesting method in terms of shaft lean. So at address, uh, your shaft lean is basically neutral or zero. And then at impact, you have a lot more shaft lean than address. Really? So yeah, so with your, with your technique, where you don't lean the shaft a lot at address, but then as you come through, the handle sort of, we call it drags or, or leans forward. That can make it hard to square the face, particularly on a putter that has a bit of toe down. All right, so let me is, show you what that looks like visually. Okay. Which is another really cool aspect to this. So here we are at address. Yeah. And then when we jump to, so you, you kind of forward press as you take it back as a trigger, right? The handle almost yeah. moves forward before the putter moves back. And then you maintain that throughout. And so at impact, you have quite a bit more shaft than right. you do at address. So there's not a lot of face rotation. So giving you something face balance will complement yeah. that technique style more. Yeah, because I, I like to keep the, the putter as straight as possible. Yeah. That's why, like, instead of arcing it, I'm, like, basically dragging it like that, which is fine, I guess. Get you on a zero putt, which is this with the straight putt, try to get you aiming it as straight as possible and returning it as right. straight as possible. So now that we've really shored that up, let's show you how that plays in the break. Okay, so yeah, step, yeah. Step off the platform yeah, yeah. for just one second. Get this, this is really cool. And uh, I'll fire this up. Put me on the Instagram. Give me some likes. <laughs> uh -huh. Which ones do you guys have? Like? There are. So we have four different options in the, in the new spider family. Uh, I picked this one because I guess it's the, the sort of cleanest coming from a blade. Um, but we also have more of the retro styles, more of the Spider X, Spider Tour X, and then the OG, which would be the Spider Tour with the big fangs, right? Yeah. So I didn't want to like hit you up with this right away. Yeah, no, I didn't do line. well with, with these two. Yeah. So I we, had tried them. I. So we went to, to, to like the Spider Tour V, which is more of like a, a rounded mallet. We also have the Tour Z, which is really cool. It has, you know, the two small wings on the outside. Yeah. So anything in this family that's face balanced would be a really nice option. But that's why I went with the V. I didn't want to, I didn't want to spook you right away. Yeah, this uh, is, I like this. So that's kind of why I went with that guy. Well, if you take the putter and you hang on, on your hand like this and the face hangs, we call it face balanced, right? Versus a blade, which will hang <clears throat> more toe down, mm. right? The more toe down, the more the putter resists closure. So we want to make it as easy for you to score the face as possible. Especially if I'm putting down. straight. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that makes so. sense. It feels different for me. A lot of, lot of forward roll though, all that upward strike. Hopefully I do. That's perfect. Holy okay. Cow. So it's rare, rare that we get anybody in the triple digits. That's really, really hard to do. But again, all that forward, forward press and hitting up on it. Yeah. That's a lot of forward rotation. And so now, you know, now that you launch it properly with all that forward rotation. It's a good putt. Breaking putts will become easier, left to right putts, because the ball is a lot more likely to hold its line, and you'll be less susceptible to the imperfections of the green. Yeah. Okay. So, so not as minor, much, minor not as much, not but much just better, yeah. still going. Just a little bit. Yeah. Got it. I like this putter a lot. Isn't that cool? I like it a lot, actually. So slightly, 1.6 launch is perfect. Hits the ground there, and then it starts to hug and roll. So this zero skid after number, after 17 inches, is very efficient. It's a very important number. And when you're that efficient with your launch conditions, this, this gets to be rolling through right away. That was the end of my tailor-made fitting day. Here we go. We had this putting fitting, which I did not know. Perry taught me a lot because I didn't know that it was like, I thought it was just feel. No. There's so many numbers. It's like Trackman. Is this Trackman? It's basically Trackman for putting. And yeah, there's a lot more to it than just feel. 
yeah, I mean, I, and I feel really confident in this putter now knowing the numbers. Like, it was a great day. It was great putting. It was great getting the whole bag dialed in. What's in the bag coming soon? Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.